What is that guys, Ready guy here coming with a brand new video and today I'm coming with your PS5 topic. Okay, today this will blow some people's mind. By the way, I'm going to talk about it. it's a spec for the PlayStation 5. I don't know much about specs. I love gaming. I really want to get on the specs and type of PC. But this, it's really why I... I read this article and I want to bring you to guys because I want to talk to you and many people, I think a people, I think a person on the comment will let me, uh, will, you know, shed some light. But first, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the video, thumbs up if you like the video, and if not, you can dislike too. But let's get to the article, this is coming from PlayStation Universe, an article down below. And, by the way, this is from the leaker Titus, the, the OG from leakers, you can say. Rumor, PS5 to support some AMD, AMD RDNA 3 features. By the way, RDNA 3 has not come out, uh, has not come out. So this is very weird, really. Alongside AMD RDNA 2 features. Another day, another PlayStation 5 hardware rumor. Industry insider Titus has once again dropped another hardware tidbit on Twitter. In a short, consist tweet, Titus stated that the PS5 will not will not only support all of AMD RDNA 2 features, but also some RDNA 3 features, and even some exclusive to the PS5 is certainly excited it's true. I can show you the tweet, I will try to show you the tweet, and by the way, this is supported too by a, a person that is a PC enthusiast and has leaked some very through thing for the PlayStation, 4, PlayStation 5. He's a friend with Titus, uh, I don't know who it is, but I saw the tweets and I answered him, and I tried to question him something. Them, but no no avail what is the rdna you say well the rdna is a radian dna it's a code name for the gpu micro texture and it's a company instruction set rdna features have been taught for a while for both next generation consoles but until now it was only thought that the ps5 had featured from the rdna 2 one of the biggest features of the rdna 2 is vrs vrs stands for variable rate shading it's a feature that increases render performance and quality by varying the shading rate of different regions of the frame. Basically, if you have a 4K resolution game, there are parts of the, the, the visual that don't need 4K, like motion blur track, detail, and stuff like that. So VR, VRS works out what doesn't need to be 4K and lowers the resolution to free GPU power from other stuff. Holy fuck, that sounds, that sounds amazing. So it will free power, um, power for the, the GPU power uh, from the GPU. That is real good because you can use it for some many other things. Uh, let's continue. It certainly sounds good and if used correctly, especially combined with the other PS5 finishing features, combined uh, could free up valuable power for the game related item like AI, rendering, textures, loading, okay. So now, right now, we're coming because this is like RDNA 2. This is the number two, we're not getting the RDNA 3 right now. If all this is really confirmed, if all of this is on the PS5, the PS5 is gonna be a monster, a monster. Because right now, many people are saying that the PS5 is inferior, that yes, I, I agree with you, I have all, I've heard the old rumors, the specifications, the performance for the Xbox Series X, I really, really support you on that, but we have to get things clear. Xbox is a beast, but PlayStation is allowing developers to be more free. I know, many people, oh, PlayStation is overheating, I get it, but it has been debunked, and there's a hint sync pattern out there that proves you right. And if you're not, you can go watch a video on YouTube to really, really educate you on that pattern. Let's continue. The RDNA 3 is a long way off the PS5 market, the PC market yet. And not much is known about it, its exact features, or said what improvements will offer. You can expect to be faster, more efficient, that it's certainly good news all around for gamers. Let's hope Sony touch more on the subject when the PS5 is finally shown and talk about it in detail. But this is coming from PSU. Let's be honest. Any new technology that makes the PlayStation 5 run better for, or more efficient is good news. Most of the feature will not mean a lot. Most people will uh, will not mean a lot to most people, but they will give the developers a lot of options when developing the PlayStation 5 titles. We all want better games, right? This news, rumor or not, will eventually lead better, more refined games. So in my opinion, yes, that's what I've been talking in all my PS5 videos. So if you make a console, 
that really benefit developers, that makes more freely games, more textured games, run better games, everything about games, then the developers will take those options and make better games. Just imagine Horizon Zero Dawn, 4K, like the new Horizon Zero Dawn, 4K, 100, uh, 60 frames per second, 1080p or more, with no loading screens, no blur, no, none, none of that, and running like butter. And not hear the PS5, the PS4 loud noise jet like fan. Amazing! So this will allow to be more bigger, have 4K resolutions with with not um, taking a toll on the hardware for the play for the developers. So that if that means that feature means that the developer will have more options to create more awesome worlds, detail, uh, detail, and be a good at performance. I'm sold, really, I'm sold. I know the Xbox Series is gonna, X is gonna be a beast, and the PlayStation 5 is gonna be a beast, but this gives a niche on the PlayStation 5. I know, I know. But no, you're a PS5 Sony boy, fanboy, I understand that. I am not a fanboy, I'm a person that is neutral. I really get this. I really read, I read articles because I really like gaming. I really want to know what these next-gen consoles are really about. If they have the balls, the cojones to be an amazing war between consoles. And, and yes, I'm seeing a mean war because right now, if you go to Twitter, you're gonna see all those Xbox fanboys and PS5 fanboys really gunned it out. I don't know why. Really, I don't know why. I understand it. Xbox has an amazing console, has an amazing layout. The Xbox Game Pass is amazing for some and for me, but yes, I understand all that. And on the, and on the long run, the only thing that will sell the consoles are the games. And I understand that. But war is good for business. God is we not good. Uh, war is good for business. Either you like it or not. This is an illustrator channel. And I bring you the news and articles. The PS5, it has those features. It will be God's place for developers. And that is pretty, pretty awesome. The only thing I'm gonna tell you that it's that it has been confirmed from the developers is that the all the things that the games will run will be 60 frames per second and 1080p. Only third parties, first party can achieve more than that on the P on the exclusive consoles. I really want to see what both consoles will have, in my opinion. But if the RDNA 2 and the RDNA 3, by the way, I don't know specs, I'm just reading you, and this is what is in the article, it's not my opinion, does all these things that this article has, then the PlayStation has an edge too, not just the SSD. So guys, comment the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to subscribe to the channel. And give it a like, thumbs. Uh, give it a like and thumbs up. If not, you can comment the video. Hate me. I understand that. I will really understand. I, I understand hate. I understand your um, your um, state of words. But this is coming from an article. This is not coming from me. I am not not inventing this. I'm just bringing you the article. It's down below, so you can read it. You can read it. And I'll see you next time. The next really nice show. Peace out.